strike three. What a performance by Chad Lorkowski. And now the scamper home and the slide safe at home play. Adams launches one to center field. Very deep and it is good. Welcome to the Little League World Series presented by Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. It has already been another great day for Little League Baseball in Williamsport. And tonight we're here inside Volunteer Stadium for an elimination game in the international bracket. The team from Brno, Czech Republic, takes on the kids from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. So before we focus on this specific game, a quick Look at this Little League division at a glance, the 2013 Little League World Series, a division of Little League International. There are 16 teams in two brackets in this tournament divided up, International and U.S. The kids are anywhere from 11 to 13 years old. We play six inning regulation games, a field two-thirds the size of a conventional baseball field. Minimum mandatory play means that every kid gets a chance to get in the game. Well, we've already had a lot of action today, including a game, elimination game on the international side, where Team Puerto Rico staved off elimination from championship contention. They beat Australia 4-0. Great pitching performance from their starter, Tommy Lee Sierra. Meanwhile, on the U.S. side of things, Trey McLemore hit a grand slam for South Nashville, Tennessee, part of an offensive explosion for those kids as they eliminate Corpus Christi of Texas. So here's how it stands. Everybody playing today lost their opening round game the teams that won in the opening round will play again tomorrow two teams Australia and Corpus Christi have now been eliminated from a Little League World Series title contention and welcome inside our broadcast position here at Volunteer Stadium Dave Fleming alongside Kyle Peterson so let's turn our attention now Kyle to this matchup here tonight we've got the Czech Republic and the team from Canada Czech Republic in Williamsport for the first time ever we did not know what to expect from these kids their opening round performance was very impressive I thought it was outstanding and I think what stuck out the most for the team from Czech Republic is just the way that they knew the game of baseball realize that these kids didn't necessarily grow up around the game of baseball like a lot of kids in the States or other areas of the world do yet a lot of situations during the course of the game they knew instinctually exactly where to throw that ball which comes from really good coaching defensively they were outstanding didn't make an error the entire game played the defending national champs from Japan who made three errors during the course of the game but just watch the movements of these kids on the infield now the ability to hit a cutoff man which there's times you got to teach guys in the major leagues to do this again these kids at 12 hitting a cutoff man getting outs and of course laying out to make a great play on the infield Made a home run in their first time. It was a historic day for the team from the Czech Republic, but also an impressive day just to see the way these kids played the game. Yeah, they really handled themselves well. I thought it was one of the great stories from the opening round. Meanwhile, for Team Canada, a team that comes here to Williamsport with a lot of expectation, and a lot of that is because of the power they have in the middle of their lineup. And these kids can swing it, too. 14 home runs between Angus Adams and Jack Walsh in the Canadian National Tournament. And Angus already got things going in game one here for Canada. When the offense goes for Canada, a lot of it revolves around these two, two of the biggest kids in the entire team. They hit 3-4 in this Canadian lineup, and Angus Adams is one that really got it going in the open. A little hang and break the ball right over the treetops in center field. Look at that extension, 275 feet. That's plenty to carry over the 225-foot wall here at Volunteer Stadium. They're going to need a little bit more of that today, but the power is right in the middle of this lineup. The kids are excited to get this game started. Canada and the Czech Republic. We've got baseball for you coming up next. Great job. Okay, now let's get ready for the ball. Here it comes. There you go. Good catch. Perfect. All right, now for the best part. Let's see your part. Ooh, let's get those in the ball. These are way too good to waste, right? Oh, yeah. Let's go for it. Around the ball. Mm -hmm. And share what you love with who you love. Mm. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. They're great. Oh, good catch, Dad. <laughs> 
Hey, it's me, Progressive Insurance. You know, from our 4,000 television commercials. Yep, there I am with Flo. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> Anywho, three million people switched to me last year, saving an average of $475. Oh, it feels good to help people save. With great discounts like Safe Driver, Multicar, and Multipolicy. So call me today. You'll be glad you did. Cannonbox! Oh, great. Can I get this too? Yeah. Footlong sweet onion chicken teriyaki. Wait for it. Oh. Uh, with the jalapenos and pepper jack cheese. Toasted. Five tool phenom Mike Trout powers the long ball with Subway footlongs. Piled high with everything he loves. Subway, longtime sponsor of Little League. A man, a man and his truck, and a broken fence, and a lost calf, and the heart to search for as long as it takes, and the truck that lets him search for as long as it takes. The all-new Chevy Silverado, the most fuel-efficient V8 in a pickup, strong for all the roads ahead. Presented by Frosted Flakes on ESPN, ESPN2, and ABC. ESPN's coverage of the Little League World Series is presented by Kellogg's Frosted Flakes Cereal. They are great! And in part by Progressive, comparing rates to help you save. Now that's Progressive. And Subway. Hurry to Subway for the new Applewood Pulled Pork. Get it before it's gone. Subway, eat fresh. Oh, what a setting. Volunteer Stadium here in Williamsport, the 2013 Little League World Series. And the team from the Czech Republic getting ready to go here, an elimination game against Canada. But we're here in Williamsport, and those kids had to come from a long way away to Williamsport from the Czech Republic and the town of Brno toward the north of that country, right in the middle of Europe. And so let's meet the kids from the Czech Republic, brought to you by all. Hi, my name is Tomas Karim. My favorite baseball player is Jose Reyes. My name is Christian Geidel, and my favorite player is David Ortiz. Hi, my name is Lucas Lop, and my favorite baseball player is Prince Fielder. I'm Kristof Ruza, and my favorite baseball player is Derek Jeter. Hello, my name is Tomas Jurcik, and my favorite player is Miguel Cabrera. My name is Mark Krejcirik, and my favorite player is Ichiro Suzuki. Hi, my name is Thomas Kuba, and my favorite player in the Major League is Derek G. My name is Eliška Stiskola, and my favorite player is Prince Fielder. Hello, my name is Daniel Stunger, and my favorite player is Pavel Hadin. Hello, my name is Martin Švihalek, and my favorite baseball player is Jose Reyes. Hi, my name is Robin Bavra, and my favorite player is David Wright. My name is Victor Vacharka and my favorite baseball player is Prince Fielder. So those are the kids from the Czech Republic. Here is the starting lineup for this game. And notice Eliška Stejskalova is in the lineup, the only girl in the Little League World Series. So is their catcher, Daniel Stodek. Who had the first hit, first home run, first RBIs, all of that for the Czech Republic in their opener against Chinese Taipei. Daniel's two-run home run easily cleared the wall. Got the Czech Republic on the board. And it's really the start of what we saw. It's a very impressive opener, although they lost to Japan. Still impressive on the mound today for Canada. Ken Wen, who we saw on the mound for a short period of time against Chinese Taipei, a walk and a strikeout in two thirds of an inning. 21 pitches, which he's still eligible to go tonight. Ken, one of the top pitchers on this Canadian team, where they can go deeper than those 21 pitches tonight. And we will spend some time explaining those pitch count rules here in Little League Baseball, but first things first, we're ready to go. 
Mark Kaczurek is the leadoff hitter for the Czech Republic. An elimination game. The team that loses will not be oh. eligible to win the championship here in the Little League World Series this year. So a lot on the line here tonight and ball one to get the game started. Kaczurek very impressive defensively in the opener. And Kyle and I have already been talking about the, the performance of the Czech Republic. Strike one, and you hear the call from Vincent Cerullo, the home plate umpire. He's wearing the microphone for us. We'll listen in to our home plate ump all evening long. Ken Wen, the right handed pitcher. Kritschurik bunted it foul. The rest of the umpiring crew. Bruce Marcellus is the first base umpire. Chuck Bettini at second. Garland Timms is the umpire at third. James Gregory in left field. John Ignacio. Is the right field umpire. Uh, ball from the shortstop Kaczurek. It's just hard to overstate how big of an underdog the Czech Republic team was against the defending champions, a team that has been a power in this event year after year after year. Czech Republic, where not many kids play baseball, first ever appearance in the Little League World Series. That's what made their performance impressive. And they hung right in there the whole ball game. That one is hit hard and a nice stab by Davide DiCipio, the first baseman for Canada. Goes to the bag for the put out. I think defense has been the hallmark of these first three days in Williamsport. I think, too, we talked briefly about the field size here. The base is just 60 feet from home plate, and this time Davide DiCipio playing in on the grass. So he's about 50, 55 feet away, not a lot of time to react. His backside, backhand side, takes it himself for the first out. But I agree. Defensively, I think it's been off the charts. Really for almost everybody you've seen. Well, that ball hit pretty well to center field. Angus Adams though is there. Makes the catch. So Tomas Adim hit the ball hard but it's on number two. Here's our field dimension comparison. So start with the mound is just 46 feet away. The base is 60 feet. Fence is symmetrical. 225 all the way around. They compare that to the major league side. Bases in middle league essentially the same as the pitcher's mound. Major league level 90 feet bases. And Fences that'll go anywhere from 320 to 400, 405 to center. So we kind of shrink down the field, but it's age appropriate. Makes for a really good game. Robin Ladra, the third baseman in the starting lineup and the third place hitter, swings through for strike one. Two outs, bases empty. Czech Republic hitting against Ken Wen and Canada. Just underway in this oh. elimination game. Spent some time on the mound in the opening round game and made one of those spectacular highlight defensive plays. It's that one foul. This is the play we're talking about. One of the best plays of the tournament so far. Looks like we saw him all the way around the diamond for the Czech Republic in the opener. Look at that break. Starts with a good pitch. Was it fastball in on the hands of the Japanese hitter? Then lays out full extension to make the play. Now you got to show it to the umpire. True all-out oh. dive. You'll see the catcher Jack Walsh Canada likes to do that set the target way Come up on, high. He'll do that a lot in this game. Not as high that time the ball that is foul. The home plate umpire Vincent Cerullo for a moment did not know where it was. You see a little smile on his face. But clearly a foul ball two and two. Strikes out swinging. Good start for Ken Wen on the mound for Canada. And we'll see Team Canada back when we come back for the last of the first. Want to stand out in a crowd? For a great selection of official Little League gear, including hats, tees, and sweatshirts, go to littleleaguestore.net. Eyes straining at night, struggling with glare from oncoming lights. You need visual clarity. Get it instantly with Night View NV, the glare reduction glasses that turn fuzzy and dull into clear and bright, even at night. It's brighter, there's no glare. I can actually see at night. Everything is defined, like high definition. The secret is specially coated yellow lenses that block the blue light that causes nighttime glare. With Night View NV, it's easier and more comfortable to see. Wherever there's glare, you'll see clearer 
with Nightview NV. Similar glasses can cost as much as $400. But during this special TV offer, you'll receive one pair of Nightview NV glasses for just $10. But to make this offer perfectly clear, we'll double it free. Just pay separate processing and handling. You get two pairs of Nightview NV for just $10. Call or log on now. To order, call 1-800-597-1436. That's 1-800-597-1436. So call or order online at buynightview.com. Order now. In Williamsport, no score after a half inning. Team Canada coming up here in the bottom of the first inning. The team from Canada traveled here to Williamsport from Ottawa, Ontario, the capital of Canada. So it's up the East and PN Little League. And let's meet the kids from Canada. My name is Angus Adams, and my favorite player is Clay Buckles. My name is David Keon, and my favorite player is Derek Jeter. My name is Cole Dennison, and my favorite player is Derek Jeter. Hi, my name is Justin Janine, and my favorite player is Jose Reyes. Hello, my name is David Sabio. Favorite player is Jose Bautista. Hi, my name is Caden Griffin, and my favorite player is CeCe Sabathia. Hi, my name is David Legault, and my favorite player is Mike Moustakis. Hi, my name is Kai Wynn, and my favorite baseball player is Pedro Martinez. Hi, my name is Ken Wynn, my favorite baseball player is Hugh Darvish. My name is Will Rierfeld, my favorite player is Miguel Cabrera. I'm Clay Surratt, and my favorite player is Joey Votto. Hi, my name is Jack Walsh, and my favorite player is Buster Posey. My name is Jason Zhang, and my favorite player is Ian Kingsler. So those are the kids from Canada, and here is their starting lineup for this elimination game. Caden Griffin, the leadoff man, the power hitters, though, in the middle, Angus Adams and Jack Walsh. When they call Wally. Big time power in the Canadian National Tournament in nine home runs in eight games. Flew out yesterday deep to right field. When you see Adams and Walsh hit, so fields of this size, they got a chance to take it out at any point. Here's who they will face Victor Bacherka, 13 years old, big kid, too. 5'9, 119 pounds. Got in there at least against Japan, so he's been on this field, felt this mound, kind of seen the surroundings with a few runs, but still, it helps for any pitcher. I know you're surrounding a little bit better. They've been out there just a day ago. And it was interesting, Kyle, wasn't it? The, the manager of Team Czech Republic, Jan Gregor, that was the plan all along. <laughs> First pitch strike to Caden Griffin leading off for Canada. Get Victor on the mound to start that game, but get him out before he burned up his eligibility to pitch here in this game today. So get that experience, but then have him on the hill for game two. And I think part of that was realizing that it was going to be a tall task against Japan. But still to get him out there, feel comfortable in that spot so the lefty now knows the backdrop, which makes a difference. It makes you feel more comfortable when you're out there. The Kate Nader at the plate swings through a high fastball strike two. And that's kind of what you'll see from Vacherka. Mixes speeds, uses all his stuff. He may well be the best all around player on this team from the Czech Republic. Ball. Just outside, two and two. Two balls, two starts. Lots of fans from Ottawa to cheer on their Canadian team. Caden's mom and dad. <laughs> Strike hey. three call. Sorry. Now we've been talking about the, the pitch count rules, the pitching eligibility rules, and they're important here in Little League. And you saw for both of these kids, they came out and threw yesterday, but they kept it right around 20 pitches. So you can go over that 20, 35, 50, all of those benchmarks if it happens during the course of an at bat. 85 is the max. You finish, go past that 85 if it gets to the end of an at bat. But you can see, and I think it's a great rule for Little League baseball, solely intended to protect these arms. Left-handed hitting, David Legault hits a pop-up behind home plate, and the third baseman comes all the way near the backstop. Robin Wavra, nice play, two down. Very good, and we talked about the instincts of this team defensively and just knowing where to go, and a lot of times kids at this age, if you're on third base, you'll give up on this, thinking it's a catcher's ball or maybe the pitcher's ball, but that first break by Robin Wavra right here, 
no one has a chance to get to this one. Gets it right in front of the wall. One pitch, one out for the second out. He's been a defensive star in Williamsport. Third baseman now will back up just a bit with powerful Angus Adams at the plate. First pitch swinging and he pops one foul up and out of Volunteer Stadium. Goes after it. He goes after it. We saw the home run to dead center yesterday. Yeah, you got the, the set of trees out beyond the center field wall that almost serve as the batter's eye. And Angus Adams hitting right over top those trees. The target for him. And he hits that one well to right center field. It is gone. Through the trees this time. First run of the game. Canada leads 1-0. He can hit. Big boy and a sweet swing from the right handed side. Yesterday it was a breaker ball that hung up in the zone, but Angus did a great job of waiting on this time. It's a fastball. Belt high. He's going to roll those wrists right after contact. So Waits gets extended. Then the wrist roll. Just a missile out to center field. Again, right over the top of those trees. That's two home runs over the trees for Angus. This time gives Canada one nothing lead. Very impressive. His second home run of the tournament already for Canada. Out in front here in the first. Now Jack Walsh, who's got big time power himself at the plate. A change up for strike one swinging. You know the scouting report. It's made its <laughs> way around that dugout already. We'll start him off a little off speed for Jack. And Jack had a little smile there, knowing how to use that pitch against him. Just strike one, though. Back to the fastball. It's 0 2. Good combination there for Pacherka. Almost two strikes. Oh! Looks like a, an attempt at a slider there. Just a little bit off the plate. Struck him out swinging. So good pitching against Jack Walsh, but Angus Adams goes deep and gives Canada the lead. Two home runs in two days for Angus Adams. Both of them is almost the exact same spot. Clears the trees again out to dead center field, and Team Canada is on the board. Teammates out to congratulate him. One nothing Canada. Back in 1966, Irv Gordon bought a Volvo P1800 and started driving. And nearly three million miles later, he's still going. So this summer, we want to help you start logging some miles in a Volvo of your own. Right now, when you buy or lease any 2013 Volvo, we'll pick up the first three payments. Get going. You've got some time to make up. Pay nothing for three months when you lease a 2013 Volvo S60 for $279 a month. Well, this is it. So proud of you. Well, hands up! Is there a Century 21 agent in the house? Yeah, I'm a Century 21 agent. Oh, great. We need your help. Now that our youngest is finally out to college, we're ready to sell our house and move to the beach. You got it. Yeah. Get up. Stay calm. There's a Century 21 agent in the house. Smarter, bolder, faster. You OK? I'm awesome. <laughs> You know what's hot in the food world? Waffles and southern fried chicken on the same plate. Mm. Well, since I am the ambassador of Southern Cooking, I have transformed chicken and waffles into an all-in-one meal with my new Popeye's chicken waffle tenders. All white meat tenders marinated in my Louisiana spices and then handcrafted with a light, crispy waffle coating with fries, a biscuit, and my honey maple dipping sauce for just $4.99. Honey, this is a meal that will make your mama shout. Louisiana fast. I don't know how many of you have been to the Czech Republic, but it is a beautiful country right in the heart of Europe. Got a little bit of everything, the rivers, the mountains, beautiful historic towns that date back not just centuries, but more than a thousand years. It's also a country that has had plenty of success athletically. Martina Navratilova, Ivan Lendl, some of the tennis stars, hockey huge, Patrick Elias, longtime NHL star, Yarmir Yager, one of the great goal scorers of all time, and then one of the best 
goalies ever. Dominic Hasek from the Czech Republic. Part of a great athletic tradition there. The food part of the tradition here in Williamsport. We are at Volunteer Stadium for this elimination game. A packed house in this late afternoon, early evening. I guess we're handing out some freebies, huh? No. <laughs> Like the kid that just went straight for the chicken thing. No, I'm good. Actually, you can keep the fries. I'm gonna go right up top. All right, spread the wealth. Yeah. One nothing Canada. Dave Fleming, Kyle Peterson, in Williamsport. Inning number two. Now Lucas Lowe, left-handed hitter, cleanup batter. <laughs> Strike one from the pitcher for Canada, Ken Wen. Twelve years old. Change of speeds from when it's 0 and 2. He's throwing strikes at the start of this one. Got the eye black working too. Strike three swinging. Actually foul tipped a piece of it, but nicely the catcher Jack Walsh hangs on. Can win that waste any time here as the first pit pat fastball gets out in front and drops a little breaking ball on him. And this time just rears back, lets it go with the 0-2 count. I know when you guys have talked to Jan Gregor with a manager of this Czech Republic team yesterday the one thing he had said was I'm worried about the breaking ball just because their kids haven't seen it growing up in a setting like that they haven't seen too many curveballs fastball got him that time but a breaking ball was a part of it. the chair oh! showed a butt pulled the bat back and takes a pitch inside yeah Jan Gregor told us or Hershiser and I did the game yesterday and, and he told us that literally they really have not seen breaking pitches in the baseball that they've played when we heard that we thought well who knows how this game is going to go. There's strike one call. I'll tell you this I, I think it'd be great if no 12 year old had ever seen a breaking pitch. That would be wonderful. Just go out and throw fastballs and change ups at this age. Obviously it's not going to happen ball, because the challenge is the breaking ball works. Ball, gentlemen. I mean when you're at this age not that many kids have, have seen it. But thankfully we haven't seen that many kids fall in love with it the three days that we've been here which is good to see. Here's a ball chopped toward the middle. Tough little hop there, and that might have cost the second baseman Cole Dennison. Pacherka is going to advance to second in with a slide, and so he's there with one out. And they may well give that as an infield hit and then charge the error for the extra base. As I think it should have been, and that last hop is what you're referring to. Watch the last minute. You can see the body motion of Cole has to go back the other way. It looked like that ball was going to continue to bounce right over the top of second base. Even if he fields it cleanly, I think the speed of Victor Vacherka, who we've already seen on the mound, is enough to beat that out. Should be a single and an error. Now Victor on second base with one out. And that is what the scoring was ruled. So now Tomas Kuba, right-handed hitter, trying to knock in the tying run. Good pitch, strike one. Got some zip on the fastball. Can win. One ball, one strike. That ball hit to right field, hanging and caught by Clay Surratt. Tagging Vercherka, he'll go to third. That's good base running. Only left hander does in my order. Great base run. I think again, just just knowing the game continues to impress me. Look at that immediately. Victor Vercherka, the minute this ball comes off the bat, he's got one movement. He has to go back to second base. Played it right at the left foot on the bag so he could. Rotate his body. Watch the minute that ball was caught. He was off to third base. Now so many different ways to score from third. All right. So here's Alishka Stasekolova, the only girl playing in the Little League World Series. Alishka had a bunt, reached safely, knocked in a run in yesterday's game, and her only trip to the plate. Stasekolova, a chance to tie this game with a base hit. Runner at third, two down. Shows a bunt again and bunts it. When the pitcher will field it cleanly and throw her out at first. She hustled and made it a pretty close play, but not this time. And so the Czech Republic retires without the run scoring. One nothing, Canada leads. Sunday Night Baseball, Yankees Red Sox, tomorrow at 8 on ESPN. Play just for the fun of playing? That's showing your stripes. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes gives you flakes for fuel and frosting for fun. It's part of a balanced breakfast. They're great. So you can go show your stripes. 
you can go to FrostedFlakes.com for stories from real kids just like you. They can run, but they can't hide. Introducing the first minivan with an available built-in vacuum. The redesigned Odyssey from Honda. Official vehicle of Little League. New Subway $4 lunch. $4? That's it? Yep, a 6-inch sub plus a 21-ounce drink. Plenty of subs to choose from. Piled so high you can barely see over it. Now I'll get your booster seat, buddy. The new Subway $4 lunch. Subway. Eat fresh. Let me ask you something, Chief. Have you ever grilled before anything at all? Ever? And it'll look befuddled. Just saying. Hey, ow! Hey, MJ, we should hang out. Now, all Hanes underwear is tagless. Go tagless. Back here in Williamsport, 1 0 Canada leading the Czech Republic. The starting pitcher there, Victor Vicherka, earlier led our own Jamie Sire on a little tour of the Grove where the players stay during the Little League World Series. Hi, guys. I'm Jamie. Doug. Nice to meet you. What is the grill so people at home know? Well, it's basically where all the players stay. All right, well, let's go inside. So, you guys, done with lunch. Now it's time for the pool. What's your favorite part about the pool? Diving board. You aren't very good. You should stick to baseball. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Thank you guys for letting me hang out. It was nice to, for you to invite me in there. It's been nice to meet you and good luck. Good luck. Great job by Victor, who speaks very good English, has been quite the personality up there, we understand, all uh, week long. And Kyle, that's one of the cool things about the Little League World Series, that setup up in what they call the Grove. It's awesome. And the universal language of Ms. Pac-Man, too, is outstanding. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Yeah. <laughs> chomp, chomp. Yes. Strike one to Ken Wen. Last of the second. One nothing Canada on a home run from Angus Adams. Breaking ball outside in the dirt. One and one. But Pacherka, great personality. And with not just the ability to, to speak English, but he wants to, to speak, oh, wants to learn that? more. So he's been talking to just about everybody. Oh. Off the outside, two and one. Ken Wen is definitely one of the leaders of the Canadian team. Hits that one hard on the ground. Hadim fields it cleanly and throws him out. This game, an elimination game, part of the international bracket in the Little League World Series. Here's how the international regional pool breaks down. Four countries represent themselves. So Japan, Australia, Mexico, Canada. A team from those countries will be here every year. Latin American region, the Caribbean. We saw Puerto Rico earlier today. Czech Republic from Europe and Africa. Oh. Well, one of the bigger changes this year, first time for Czech Republic, also the first time for Australia, who will be a regular from now on, and it's due simply to the number of little leagues and little league players in Australia. It's grown so much that they now are their own region. Clay Surrett, his teammates call him Clay Doh. Oh! Left handed hitter is ahead of the count 2 0. Oh. That is a great development, I think, for Little League Baseball, how much they're playing in Australia. And that's really the idea of this Get Little League World Series. Time. Have a great competition, help grow the sport. Vacherka. Now in line to the left field, base hit. Clay Surrett with the second hit for. Team Canada. Speaking of Little League, it's been almost 75 years. Little League has been teaching our youth building friendships, strengthening communities, and providing fun competition. Little League, the world's largest organized youth sports program, with more than 2 million kids playing in all 50 states and 81 countries. To learn more about the history, also you can find a league or start your own. Visit www.littleleague.org. There's a special pinch runner first use of that rule in this game. Jason Zhang at first base for Canada. Ball. We saw Jason out there as a special pinch runner. 
Another one of the great rules here within Little League. You can use a special pinch runner once per inning. It has to be a player not currently in the game, and you can only run for the same player once during the course of the game. Helping get everybody involved. So we're part of that mandatory play rule here in Little League Baseball. Cole oh, no, Dennison. Stone Cole, 11 years old, one of the youngest players in Williamsport. Hits that one right off the end of the bat. Charging the shortstop and a nice play for Chirik to get the force out at second on Zhang. Well done again, knowing where that lead runner is. And at this point, the only chance you're going to have is for Chirik to charge this ball. Gets it just on the edge of the grass. If he doesn't charge this, no chance to get that lead runner at second base. A little flip to Thomas Hadim, his second baseman. Gets that lead runner now two outs. Two down, runner at first, one nothing. Canada has the lead. Here's DeCipio, right-handed hitter. Swings at that first pitch, strike one. Choking up on the bat just a little bit. Strike two swinging. Shorter swing that time. Mark Keeping, who's the head coach of this Canada team, no more, the manager down sides. coaching third base. The first thing he said after that swing, he's shorter. Give me a little shorter swing. That time a little shorter, just swung right over the top. 0 2 pitch. Strike three. Good pitching from Victor Vacherka. A hit for Canada, but the strikeout and Team Canada's lead is still one nothing. Third of the game for Victor this time. A little left-handed cutter. I know that one in the Czech Republic too. Two complete, one nothing Canada. So I'm checking out the Jetta. 34 Highway MPG. Check. No charge scheduled maintenance. Check. And here's the kicker. Zero percent APR for 60 months. And who got it? This guy. And who got it? This guy. And who got it? This guy. That's right. It's the car you won't stop talking about. Ever. Hurry into the Volkswagen Best Thing Ever event and get 0% APR for 60 months now until September 3rd. That's the power of German engineering. That leaky roof will cost you thousands in repairs. Hi, Phil Swift here. Everyone knows Flex Seal is the easy way to coat seal and stop leaks fast and for lighter surfaces you're going to love flex seal bright to put flex seal to the ultimate test we seal this pickup truck we turn this truck into the new flex seal boat flex seal is the economical solution to thousands of problems i drive this boat at 100 miles an hour but when i get a leak i use flex seal because i know it works you can get flex seal in original or bright for just $19.99. And we're going to include another can of Flex Seal. Plus, you get the Aero Grip Sprayer free. You'll get it all for just $19.99. Order now. To order Flex Seal Original or Flex Seal Bright, call 1 800 691 5529 or go to getflexseal.com. Call or go online now. Chen Lyman had just got himself on Sports Center. <laughs> Amazing. It's just the third day of the Little League World Series. Hard to believe with all the great stuff we've seen already. Our fresh take from Williamsport brought to you by Subway. It's been quite a full day already here today. And it has. We saw Tommy Lee Sierra get things started. Five and two-thirds, ten strikeouts. Puerto Rico shuts down Australia for nothing. It was a Trey McLemore show. Grand Slam, six RBIs. Tennessee stays alive. And later on the night, the nightcap from just up the hill at Lava, Urbandale, Iowa, Gross Point, Michigan. 8 Eastern on ESPN. And that'll be an interesting one. Uh, Gross Point, I think, coming in was considered one of the favorites because of Big Chad Okowski. And he certainly acquitted himself well on the mound. Grant Holman just a 
a little bit better for Chula Vista. One nothing Canada. Czech Republic hits here in the third, and Daniel Stodic launched the first home run. It happened to be the first hit for the Czech Republic in their Little League World Series history in their game yesterday. Strike two swinging. It was quite a moment. I think everybody no was more. just waiting for the first hit. A little infield roller, a bloop, whatever. Let's go ahead and go yard to start it off. It's that one high and deep to left field. Well, Stodic loves it here in Williamsport. He goes deep for the second time in two games. How about it? That's pretty incredible. That's a sweet swing. Daniel Stoda kind of likes this environment at Volunteer Stadium. Home run last night, first hit ever for the Czech Republic. Let me go ahead and give you the second home run ever for the Czech Republic. Same guy, fastball on the outside part, and a good adjustment too. Because the first two strikes of this at bat, a little bit late on that time, got the hands going a little bit early, got the head of the bat out. Great sportsmanship again. Will reappel the third baseman, sticking that right hand out. The home run ties it at one. Good job, Will. We love seeing that Ball. here in Williamsport. Ball one inside to the ninth place hitter, Christoph Ruza. So the home run has tied it. Two kids in the Little League World Series have two home runs so far. They're both in this game. <laughs> nice breaking pitch there. Strike one. One ball, one strike. Ruza has got a lot of speed, plays center field. For the Czech Republic shortens up ball takes it outside even that looks pretty solid there the technique pulling it back at the right time shows right there so it brings the corners in and both corners will stay at about that spot Davide Decipio will reappel at first and third base and then just enough might give you a little bit more room oh. one bunted but foul time Well, says he's okay. Manager Mark Keeping is coming out to check on him. Not an easy job. No. Looked up a lot more than people know. Strike three, one out. We've seen a lot of good catching already in the first few days. The Little League World Series. I think it's one of the tougher things too to catch you know, to teach kids at a younger age is to trust that gear. It just doesn't feel right to throw your body in front of something that's moving, but when all the gear's there, that's the best way to block it. Keep it right on that chest protector. Try to deaden that ball. And Jack and others have done a really good job of it. Sets that target perfectly oh. and holds it there for the umpire trying to get the call, but didn't that time. Mark Kuchurik, his second at bat, 0 for 1. Close to home plate, up in the batter's box. Like one swinging. Part of the trip here for all these kids getting new equipment. And they were pretty thrilled about that. That's a big day. That is a big day. Oh. New uniforms. New bats and shoes and bat bag and helmets. Russell and Easton set him up. Don't forget the shoes. Got the, even the Little League World Series emblem right on the tongue. A big deal. Big deal. Ball. Ball three outside. They told us that these players from Team Czech Republic were up after the first day with their new bats. They took some swings. Maybe got a few little ball marks, some scratches on them. They were up in the grove with toothbrushes that night, trying to clean them up, get them <laughs> polished. I don't blame them. Look at the way they shine. I don't want that shine to come off. I'll be doing the same thing with those helmets. Well, they work. Stodic has shown us that. Full we'll count three and two. Strike three. Another strikeout for Ken Wen. That's his fourth. Ken Wen doing a great job of coming back after the home run in this inning. Now back to back strikeouts to get the first two outs of the third inning. A lot of it just relying on that fastball. A lot of break of all the times, but he's not overusing. Setting it up with the fastball. Breaking ball and 0 1. 
1 0 counts at this point, and for the most part, finishing people off of that fastball. Well, he does. He has a nice demeanor on the mound. Ball! Oh! Tomas Adim, good defensive second baseman, left handed hitter, a Boston Bruins fan. Hockey big in the Czech Republic. Checking with his coach, gets the sign. And a good breaking pitch, one and two. And using the fastball against Kachirik. I'm going with the slider to get ahead of the count, one and two. Wends pitch on the way. Fastball foul back in our direction. Pitches to this point for Ken Wen. And that one is fouled right back above us. You hear the bounce up on the rooftop. One, two. Ball! Just outside. Walsh is working back behind that dish though. Anything that's close is just sticking it. I'm trying to pull all the way back in. Just hold it there for a minute. Good swing. Hadim is taking some cuts against Ken Wen. This will be the eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. He's making Wen work in that pitch count. We we talk about that a lot, but getting pitches out of an opposing pitcher, perhaps forcing that pitcher out of the game a little earlier than would be. Those those are important moments. Let's listen into this conversation. Uh, I think he's going to roll a ground ball here. Okay. So let's get out of three hitter. These guys look pretty quick, especially with a lefty too, right? Okay. Uh, He's going to strike him out. Here we go. I'm going to change my mind. <laughs> I'm going to get the defense ready, and then when you're trying to decide where that ground ball is going to go, our keeping says, not never mind. He's actually going to punch it. <laughs> I love his kid saying, guess who's going to hit it to? 2-2 <laughs> pitch on the way. And a check swing foul. Dean, he, he is not going quietly. Good little player. One of the smaller players on this Czech Republic team. Ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Hits that one into right center field. On the move, and it's going to drop in between Adams and Surrett. So after all that, nine pitches, a two out single for Tomas Adin. Well done. Great at bat. Fouled off some tough pitches, got one he can handle, and just put it in the spot where they weren't. Angus Adams out in center field, Clay Surrett over and right. Nobody getting to this one. Kind of stopped that swing, but got enough of it. Landed between the two outfielders, so it's a two out single right there for Tomas Hadin. He's got good speed at first base. Wavra, strike one swinging. Hadin. Start to dance away from the bag at first. That's another rule here in Little League Baseball, Kyle, where the runner has to stay at first base until the pitch reaches the batter. Good look at it there. To left field, Caden Griffin. The ball was kind of knuckling on him, but he makes a catch to retire the side. A couple of hits for the Czech Republic in the inning. Then another home run from a name that we've been used to seeing this from. This was yesterday. First hit, first home run, first RBIs for the Czech Republic in Little League World Series history. And let's do it again. Another home run for Daniel Stodic. Congrats from all around the globe. I'll tie to one. He's a 20 year straight, get to work on time. He's a love one woman for all his life. Everybody knows he ain't just tough. 
He's gone. The all new 2014 Chevy Silverado. Strong for all the roads ahead. We are all reflections of the people who inspired us, prepared us, and guided us. At New York Life, everything we do is to help you keep good going. Hotcha? How's it taste? That hot, spicy taste is like a slap to the face. New KFC Hot Shot Bites. 100% breast meat with a spicy cayenne pepper marinade. Try a six-piece combo, just $3.99. Uh, too late. We don't have enough time. Is there a Century 21 agent in the house? I'm a Century 21 agent. Oh, great. We need your help. We're looking for a bigger home. You know, something in a good school district. What are you doing? Tell her it's got to have a new kitchen. A new kitchen. Oh, yeah, a new kitchen would be really something. No problem. Stay calm. There's a Century 21 agent in the house. Smarter, bolder, faster. Who wants a homeowner's warranty? Yes, you do. Welcome back to the Little League World Series presented by Kellogg's Frosted Flakes from Williamsport, Pennsylvania, where we've had baseball all day today. Tomorrow afternoon, Sunday, the winners play their second round games at noon on ESPN, Mexico and Panama, then at 2 p.m. Eastern on ABC, Westport, Connecticut, and Sammamish, Washington. So two real good matchups tomorrow afternoon from the Little League World Series on ESPN and ABC. Bottom of the third inning, it'll be Canada coming up against the Czech Republic. A game tied at one. Couple of changes defensively. Tomas Jurčić and Martin Zvialik, the new left fielder and right fielder, respectively, for the Czech Republic. So a couple new corner outfielders. And Will Riopel, the ninth place hitter, takes strike one from Viktor Vacherka. We saw Will with the great sportsmanship after the home run for the Czech Republic. He a little high five to Stodic as he rounded the bases. Strike two. Victor Vichek was pumping in strikes too. I like this left hand. No balls, two strikes. His 0 2 pitch, strike three, a little foul tip held on by the catcher Stodic. Fourth strikeout for Vichek. Strikeouts in a row, too. Struck out to Scipio to end the second. Now, this time, three straight fastballs. You can see just a little bit of a cut, and hand gets around it. That's fine. Extension, just a little cut spin. Comes back into the right hander for the first down here in the third. The leadoff hitter coming up, Caden Griffin. We're going to see a pinch hitter, Kai Wen, who is the youngest player on this Canadian team, the younger brother of Ken Wen. He's been pitching and is batting fifth in the order. So 11 year old Kai. So bat with one out of the bases empty. Everybody will hit in this game. Strike one called. That one misses outside. So a rare pitch out of the strike zone. The Cherka was so surprised by that he dropped the throwback for the catcher. I like that. He's been totally locked in. 30 pitches, 21 strikes. Oh! Two. There's older brother Ken watching. Kai taking it back here in the Little League World Series. And those two say they have a great relationship. Ken's taught Kai a lot about baseball. Oh! Kai goes to three and one. That's quite an experience. One, just to get a chance to play in this setting, but two, to do it with your brother. We see fathers and sons so often in this setting, but rarely three balls, one see strike. brothers. Kai could have a chance. He could be back here next year if this yeah. East Nepean Little League can make another run. All four. That's ball four. Hey, one out walk. For all those strikes, the chair issues the one out walk. You know, small thing after the first, we see Kai Wen sh squared a bunt, but watch what happens afterward. Tomas Hadim is the second baseman and immediately goes over to his first baseman, Lucas Hauk, just to talk about that play. So Hauk doesn't charge. This time Tomas is going to go over and talk about it. Hey, if he shows, you can go in. I've got you covered 
back behind. It's another instance of just knowing the game, knowing that first baseman can crash on that one when your second baseman is going over to cover first base. It's that little stuff that I think has impressed me the most. I love the athletic ability and, and the things that we've seen from the team in the Czech Republic. But just the knowledge of the game, knowing where to go, is something that sometimes is the hardest thing to learn, and they know it well. So now David Legault at the plate shows like he might bunt. That's called strike one. Pinch runner Caden Griffin over at first base. So after Kai Wen hit for Griffin, and Griffin right back in as the pinch runner. A 1 1 score. Legault, we've seen him play well in the two games for Team Canada. Bunts that one out in front of the plate. Going to be a tough play, and they'll have no play. Excellent Legault. bunt from Legault. Good job. Well done right there. Great speed by David Legault to get down this line, but it starts with A. Just get the bun down. It's a sacrifice situation. Good job of keeping that barrel even, too. The minute that barrel gets down below the hands is when that ball usually goes shooting straight up in the air, but then he deadens it to get a chance to beat it out from that left side. It's a lot quicker to get down. It's that first step. And get the bunt down. Right foot pointing right towards first base. Got to take a peek just to make sure it's there, but then he beats it out. So a sacrifice situation instead. He's an infield single. And this is the perfect spot for Team Canada. Ball. Way outside. He would understand if Pacherka is a little reluctant to challenge Angus Adams, who twice already in this Little League World Series has hit home runs. Both have been big home runs to straightaway center. A great opportunity Ten. for Canada. Adams asks for time and steps out. All those fans who are gathered out there around the, the trees, the batter's eye in center field, you better be ready. There's a few more of them out there than there was last time. They know what happened. Be alert. And now they're not even going to mess around. They will oh. walk Adams intentionally. It is dangerous given who's waiting on deck. Yeah, that's where having those two sluggers back to back, you can guarantee that Jack Walsh, you can see they're waiting in the dugout. He cannot wait to get up there. A couple of claps. <laughs> he's a confident kid, and he's going to get a chance to hit with the bases loaded. And he is definitely ready to hit now. Yeah, I think a gamble by Jan Gregor, the manager of the Czech Republic. Glad to have one offensive meeting. Holy per cow, inning. I'd be insulted right now if I were you. Okay. Now, here's the deal. Um, don't think. All right. Thinking is what gets us in trouble when we play baseball. All right. So it's very simple. Like this afternoon, man, you're smashing all over the cage. There's no pressure here. There's only one out. Right. Okay. One out is one out. See a ball. Nice line drive. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. What do you think about the message there? I think thinking generally gets me in trouble regardless of where I'm at, whether it's on the base field or anywhere else. But I like the approach to simplify it. See it and hit it. I don't know if the big boy has ever had anybody walked in front of him in this situation. So we got a, got a new spot right here for Jack Walsh. Yeah, a little challenge from his manager, too. I'd be insulted if I were you. <laughs> Fairly strong language, but we get the point. <laughs> the insulting card already. Bases loaded, one out. Great spot for Jack Walsh, who's got a smile on his face the whole time. He hits that one on the ground, and it's off the glove of Lavra, the third baseman. That will allow a run to score. And Walsh is going to be safe at first. 2 1 Canada. And that's really the first defensive blip we've seen from the Czech Republic all tournament long. You see, just a little bit, the eyes of Robin Wabra. Knowing the situation, knowing in that spot, you want to go home the minute that he gloves it, just trying to be a little bit too quick. And everything moving towards home plate before that ball is gloved just shoots away. So base is still loaded. Canada back on top. Well, that's a good point. I think that's so often where we see those kinds of errors, where you have choices as a fielder. You start to think about where am I going? <laughs> Strike one to Ken Wen. Base is still loaded. One out. Canada's got a chance to make this a beginning. And I think the movements that we saw from Robin right there, he knew that he wanted to throw that ball home. But at times, being too quick on the baseball field is what can lead to some challenges. <laughs> Strike two, 0 and 2. 
Ken is a, a good hitter. He hasn't yet had a hit in this Little League World Series.